Hello and welcome to the bonus, final bonus video of set one. I apologize ahead of time if my computer gets uh, the frames get a little laggy and drop. It's because I'm also uploading set one as we speak. Anyway, uh, this is a danger quest. It's for, it's for um, a book, it's a very specific book. And at the end of this, I'm going to teach you how to become level 81. Now, beforehand, I am going to turn the difficulty down to novice. Only because I'm level 15 with really high speech. This is an exceedingly dangerous. <coughs> I'll explain why in a second, as soon as I show you my speech level. <coughs> okay. Speech is this way. My speech is at level 57 now. So a lot of the enemies are going to be really high level. Because enemies level up based off of your overall... Uh, perks, or overall uh, perk level, I guess. <laughs> Not your level. So when you have a really high speech, like I do, the enemies will be that much stronger. Um, there's a glitch in the game to do this. It involves uh, talking to a guy in Riften, which I did do. Um, he has an option that doesn't disappear. So every time you talk to him and do this option, you get speech EXP. Which is what I did to become level 15. You need to be level 15 for this quest to work. If you're anywhere below level 15, like level 14, you won't be able to finish the quest. So, yeah. Anyway, we're at the Sig uh, Septimus Cygnus Outpost, which is right here. Here is Winterhold. It's just not very far north of it. <laughs> and it's on a floating island, and there's some... Uh, Horkers out there, and I think someone running towards us. Oh well. <coughs> now, this quest actually does ha occur in the main storyline, but you can do it as soon as you become hit, as soon as you hit level 15. When the top level was built, uh, no more could be placed. It was and is. The maximal apex. Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degothur. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dremer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. 
the round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Alright, so we have the quest and we have the items we need. Just to show them off. This is our key into Blackreach. Now, virtually every Dwarven Ruin has a way to get into Blackreach. You need still need the Attunement Sphere, though. And the Blank Lexicon is what we need for him for this quest. Anyway. <laughs> Might as well... Yeah, there we go. Now, this is a Daedric quest. It's one of the... Uh, 14, 13 Daedric artifacts you can get throughout the course of the game. <laughs> and it's the one that's most helpful for those that want to uh, power level. Which I will be doing and spending most of the rest of the game and um, at level 81, but with a higher difficulty so you guys don't get bored. Alrighty then. <laughs> My job is to serve the yard. I thought I saw something in the distance. I did see something in the distance. It looks like someone killed Natronok. Yeah, someone killed Natronok. Who are you? Wherever the day you speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Alright. <laughs> the place that just appeared on my map is the, uh... I don't know, the... He the I don't know how to describe it. The... Can't think of how to describe it, damn it. It's where the Vigilant and Stendar appear, er, gather. The headquarters. There we go. <laughs> and inside of it is a danger heart if you want, want it. Fine. While you're in the ethereal mode, you can't take damage and you can't run out of stamina. <laughs> it's a multi purpose shout, in my opinion. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. You will see me use it a lot. What the hell? Oh, Stormcloak versus Imperials. I kinda wanna watch. Nice. Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. I think they've got what it takes. Headquarters is in summit here. I like collecting sets, so. <laughs> so they need more steel arrows anyway. Ooh, Amulet Mara. You need an amulet of Mara to be able to get married in this game. I already got one when I went to Riften. Um, if you go to the tavern in Riften, 
you'll come across a priest of Mara, um, preaching the good word, I guess. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> and if you talk to him enough, you get the option to buy a amulet from him. And you need to talk to him and go through that anyway if you want to get married. That's how you find out, <clears throat> how your character finds out they can get married. That's just sad. <laughs> I'm gonna try and upload another part. Let's see if my uh, computer lags or not. I'm gonna do it during a uh, loading screen so I don't fiddle with everything too much. The funny thing is, he was talking to himself. <laughs> he was asking Jazar, I think it was, where something was. And his name is Jazar. It's kind of funny. <coughs> now, this is a big dungeon. book I want. No. In case you don't know, I have a new sword on my, le my left hand. That is the Falmore sword. I found it during a um, raid in a dungeon, in a, uh, not dungeon, a cave. One right behind me isn't there. I thought I heard another one. Not worthwhile. At least for me, anyway. I also got a fall more bow. What? Who is this brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? That was a wasted, um, <laughs> shout. Okay. I also, while off screen, uh, got two new per weapon perks. I can't remember what they're called exactly right off the, right off the top of my head right now. Uh, I believe it was the Poacher's Axe, or Huntsman's, um, Prowess. There we go. And something else. What was it? Oh, Sun and Moon Chant. Fine. So I can prepare what I want. 